Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, I did my full Blu-ray collection last time and I realized that I forgot a few films uh, right here. So I'm just going to go through those quickly and also just show you what I picked up in the past few weeks. I guess this could be like an ongoing thing, just showing what I picked up. I believe it was around here. I forgot to show these three. So Neon Demon, uh, one of my favorite films of... I think it was 2016. Love this film. Uh, probably Nicholas Winding Refn's best. Um, Elle Fanning is so great in this. Just an amazing film. Um, I'll even show you. I have a poster of it here. And another one in my room as well. Nerve. Um, saw this one in theaters. Uh, I do like Emma Roberts. Uh, this was actually pretty creative. Maybe it, it wasn't the greatest thing but it was uh you know neon lights uh young young people doing dares kind of stuff it was a fun watch also saw this one in theaters this was actually the first uh 3d film i saw in theaters my bloody valentine i think it's better than the original it's a good deal of fun yeah and i believe i covered the rest there but i have a few that i picked up this past few weeks so here's the first one uh, Jackie. I saw this one in theaters when it first came out and then rewatched it again on TV. Really love this film. Thought Natalie Portman was excellent in it. And one of the sellers of getting this Blu ray is the opening flap and artwork inside. It's a really great film. You know, filled with good performances. And next film I got was another of David O. Russell's work. Uh, he's had kind of like a renaissance, you know, after Silver Linings Playbook, he started coming out with some really good films. American Hustle is one I really enjoyed. I think it's filled with great performances and it's just an engaging film all throughout. Really like this one. Also saw this one when it first came out in theaters, um, 20th Century Woman. Um, I really enjoy the the way this film is told. It's kind of a unique Unique uh, storytelling storytelling method. Um, of course, it has Annette Bening, Greta Gerwig, Elle Fanning, and Billy Crudup. It's a really good film. Um, it probably could have got a little bit more awards love in 2016, but that's cool. Picked up another of Audrey Hepburn's films. This one I really enjoyed. Um, I don't. I'm, I can't recall the exact years from, but it's it's about a you know of kids that go to a school and then. An accusation is made that um, both Edburn and McLean are in a forbidden, like, lesbian relationship. And for its time, I guess that was, like, a touchy subject. So this film does a really good job of it. And it's, uh, it's filled with good performances as well. This isn't my favorite um, Martin Scorsese film, but The Wolf of Wall Street is still really good. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio teaming up with Scorsese is just fantastic because they both just feed off of each other and he's always been a very solid actor um it's a long film so i kind of have to get into the mood to rewatch this again but i'm sure I'll, i will eventually and i'm not sure if i showed this last time but if i didn't i'll show it again my fair lady uh just picked this up quite recently it's got like a magnetic inner section. Really good film. I actually like this film quite a lot. You know, my Audrey Hepburn collection is just growing these days. And the last film that I have to show. I recently picked up the Blade Runner Steelbook, the 4K Steelbook, and rewatched it again and liked it even more on second viewing. The steelbook is fantastic. The film is just great as well. Um, it's something that I feel will go down as a cult favorite very soon. Really great film. So that's just an update of what's been what I've been buying recently. I'll have another update for you guys soon. Thank you.